I'm Christina Simpkins, your host, and welcome back to a whole new season of Hawaii's Real Stories. And on today's show, we're focusing on independent films dealing with music. Classically trained musician Paul Siege composed the score for Voyages, inspired by the paintings of Big Island resident Herb Kane. First, we catch up with Paul Siege on the Big Island. My original background in music started when I was 14 and I was a piano player at my school and I'd play at the graduations and then I left Hawaii when I was 15 and I moved to Europe for a little while and I lived in Hungary in a little town called Debrecen and I went to the Franz Liszt Music Academy there and studied piano and those guys very serious. I mean, they're more, they were, they wanted you to have fun, but they were very serious about the craft. So I eventually dropped out of performing and started composing. One of the reasons I was writing Voyages was I wanted to write something in a classical nature, you know, like a big orchestral score. I have several prints of Herb Connie's artwork in my house, and I was walking around thinking of ideas, and I saw that one print that's called Discovery of Hawaii, and it's the double-hold canoe coming in the, the fountain of lava and smoke, and it's really beautiful. I was looking at it, I was like, you know, that's the story I want to tell. I want to tell the story of how the Hawaiians arrived here. And through a fortunate mix of circumstances, I managed to meet Herb Kane. And so I went over to his house, told him the idea. I wanted to write this piece based on some, his artwork of how the Hawaiians came. And he brought out this book that I'd never seen before. It was called Voyage, the Discovery of Hawaii. And it went out of print before I was born, but I was looking through it and it was this first person narrative of this, you know, how the Polynesians left, what they would have gone through, all the stuff they experienced on the voyage, and then the arrival in Hawaii. And all laid out with like 50 or so images and paintings that he had done. And I was, this is it, this is exactly what I needed. Luckily, working in LA, I worked as an editor, so I managed to take all these images of his and put them together in a way where they were moving, they weren't just still images, and make them play and give them motion. I took the images that had been projected and the score that had been recorded and put them together, and that's really the genesis of Voyages and how it came about. Putting the film together, the m biggest challenge was animating all the slides. I'd never done that before, so I had all these images and pictures, but no one wants to see just static images sit there. They want movement and fades. This was still images, and getting them not to look pixelated was, was a difficult challenge. People seemed to love it. They were, you know, seeing a new piece of music that was more film-like. Modern audiences could identify with it more than a piece of classically structured music. Very film-like, the orchestration is very movie-like, and it was storytelling.
Herb actually was at the performance. He was there and he was high as a kite for two days afterwards and people were just coming up to him shaking his hand most people had never met herb Kane, so that he was there during the performance everybody was just talking about him and i he would smile on his face he loved it and yeah so he saw what was possible and now we're doing more projects after that so it's great Don't go away, we'll be right back.